Hi everyone, my name is Yair and I'm leading the LMS field in AKT. So let's start. The first thing is question library. The tool now provides the ability to include images in questions and also in answers, something that it was, wasn't possible until now. You can see that there's a tab here to upload an image and this is how it looks uh, from the admin side after you upload the image. You can see here in a thumbnail the picture itself. It's, it's a very good tool. It allows you to ask the question in, in a more uh, detailed way by, by pictures and not only by writing. The second thing is custom tiles on the learning page and not on the, on the home page can now be displayed by groups and not only by uh, organization. It's something that is very helpful if you can see. You can, sorry, you can see here that when you create the custom tile, you have still the option to set it by organization, but you also have the option to set it by groups. Groups are more uh, dynamic and it will bring you more flexibility for your target audience. Another thing, and this is also a customer uh, suggest suggestion, it's a manage uh, unsent emails. Admins that have the, the correct workflow will now can click on cancel emails and it's good basically for times that you see that you have issues with, with your emails. Users are getting uh, corrupt emails. So until now you had just the option to delete, to disable the uh, emails and now you have also the option to cancel all waiting in line emails so when you click on uh, enabling the, the email again, it will work without sending all the corrupted uh, emails. You can see the, the tool here and you can see that you have the button called delete unsent emails. Another thing is enforce approval. Uh, the issue here is that when a supervisor or HRVP is registering or withdrawing his employee, for a scheduled offering. He has a few options to do it, as you can see here in the one, two, three. Some of the ways until now had the option to skip the approval process. Now SAP is, SAP is doing consistent approach and all the ways to do it will be the same and you cannot skip the approval process. Another thing here is a relaunch of approval process. Uh, it's basically a way for admins to cancel approval process only if the user has not started the course. The, the importance here is for employees that got the approval but took the time to go to the course and start it. So the admins now have the, the option to set a time limit and say, okay, it didn't till now it didn't start the course until now. I'm deleting your approval and from now you need to relaunch it and get the approval again. You can see that <clears throat> when you go to the user under approvals, you have the option here to cancel approval. It's a learning accomplishments. It's basically a way for users to set target learning goals, to set goals in specific topics and to track them. So you can see here that after you add the workflow, you can see under links the accomplishments. When you click on it, you will see this this screen of learning accomplishments. When, when the user click on get started, you will have, <clears throat> first of all, the option to decide which topics he wants to, to track. He can, of course, set more than one. Then he needs to set or decide how many courses he wants to take in a month. There's one, two, three, four, and of course, there, he can add a different number here, a larger one. And after that, he has some reports. And the first one is uh, total learning time per month. You can see over the year how much time he, he went and, and learned things in, in the LMS. And another thing is per topic, time spent per topic. He can see through time how much time he worked with, with all the topics. It's a very important tool. It will be boost motivator for all users to go and learn more and, and set goals and to uh, track them. Another thing here is a calendar view within the catalog. It's basically continuing the change from the catalog from the, from the last release with another a change only for the calendar. As you can see here, this is the way to enter the calendar view. 
and you can see that you see all the details in one place. It's more uh, visible to the user, and it's more uh, helping him to understand what's the course title, what's, what, when, is, when it starts, when it ends, and where the location. He also has a detailed view with more information about the scheduled offering, and he has also uh, details about the segments. If you, if you click from details, if you go from details to segment, you see more information about the segments itself. If there is difference between the segments, uh, with location or start dates or ends, or from or instructors. Now a little more um, minor enhancement. So the first one is the notification editor enhancement. There was a few enhancements to this tool. The first one is the option to insert or edit direct link notification tag. You can see that you have, you can add a link and you can basically create it or change it or edit to be as a hyperlink as you can see here in, in background. The second thing is that you have the option to edit, to edit sorry, the syntax tag formatting. Until now, you have you had the option to work with the with word-like editor only for the text. Now you can do the same for the syntax tags to make it bolder or or, or everything you want. So this is a new thing. Uh, it's a self-service enhancement. The first thing is the help.sap.com learning. That until now, the changes is that until now, if you wanted help for something in, in, in learning, you need you needed to go to the system itself and click on the help button in every page. Now all the help on all the menus and all the guides and all the references are in one place in the in the admin portal. You only it's universal but you need an S user to go to the to enter the portal. It's a very important tool. Another thing is it's a free live training. The sub delivers free live training sessions via the Learning Hub, so you need to go to the Learning Hub. For all customers, you have, uh, you have full access to all the rooms for free, and you can learn a lot from the Learning Hub itself and gain more data and more knowledge about the LMS.